So Shohei Otani, another day, another milestone, Bobby V. I mean, so so exciting to watch this guy. He continues to rewrite history before our very eyes. All he did, did last night hit his 100th career major league home run, becoming the third Japanese player to do so, of course, following Hideki Matsui and Ichiro. And this was an absolute bomb in the fifth inning. Yeah, he's really swinging the bat well now, changes stance a little, and I think he's getting a lot more drive through the ball. But, you know, he's that kind of guy like Tommy Lasorda. When Tommy took over for Walter Olsen up the road, they said, hey, aren't you worried about filling the shoes of Walter Alston? And Tommy said, no, I'm worried about the guy who has to fill my shoes. Well, that's Otani. Yeah. You know, he's not worried about who he's passing and what people have done before him. He's worried about doing his thing, so it makes it tough on the next guy. Let's get some reaction uh, on this historic home run from Otani last night. Here's Joe Madden talking about the milestone. Yeah, listen, he, he does it every day. Um, uh, it's not surprising anymore. We're kind of, I don't want to say expecting it, um, but we're expecting it. I mean, it's, that's just who he is right now. Uh, he's going to keep adding on to that. You're going to hear more names. You're going to hear more milestones. And um, he's a baseball player. He loves to play. And as his reward tonight for that, for his 100th home run, he got an MC Hammer autographed baseball. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure. Does he know who MC Hammer is? He does now. The music. He does now. Yeah. Okay. You know, but unfortunately, the ball was taken away from him right away because they said you can't touch this. <laughs> <laughs> he could touch it. Yeah. He, you know, it's not hot for sure. And just for the everybody's background, why <laughs> MC Hammer, folks? MC Hammer worked for Charlie Finley back in 79. That's how he got his start. He borrowed money from baseball players to cut his first record. He was the PA announcer, the PA, the public relationist. He did everything for him. And I played in that stadium in 79 before 673 fans. He was doing one heck of a job. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh